From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Almost all day to get there, but now we're finally there. Seriously, second guessing my forecast almost all morning long. And then the sunshine broke out, and it is a summer's day out there, at least a summer's afternoon and evening. Enjoy it. Temperatures upper 70s, close to 80 degrees in most spots throughout the Treasure Valley. We're at 80 in Mountain Home and Ontario. But we are not out of the woods with wet weather and the potential for thunderstorms for the rest of this evening. As you take a look at satellite and radar imagery, just to the northwest of Ontario, we're seeing thunderstorms that are firing up. That's what the sunshine gave us, not just the warmth, but also the fuel for those storms to fire up. And it is possible that some of those storms could slide a little farther to the southeast and make their way into the lower Treasure Valley before the sun goes down. So just keep an eye to the sky. Be weather aware. Cooler temperatures in store for us all throughout this entire work week. Hopefully things will improve as we really move into the holiday weekend. But there's a lot to talk about when it comes to unsettled weather through this week. The probability of precipitation, count on it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even isolated thunderstorms that pop up from time to time as well in all of this wet weather. I still think there will be breaks in cloud cover for a little bit of sunshine. I still think that there will be dry times, but they will be few and far between because the moral of the story is is scattered showers are in store for us with isolated thunderstorms through the next few afternoons. For tomorrow, I want you to notice that that line gets a little brighter, showing yellows and oranges as it gets down toward Mountain Home and then moves into the Magic Valley. I think that's the most likely area to see thunderstorms for the day tomorrow. Tonight, can't rule out an evening storm. Again, as I mentioned, more likely for the west end of the valley. Mild temperatures, cloud cover in place, scattered showers filling in for us in the early hours of tomorrow morning. And this is how tomorrow looks. Much cooler than today. A bit breezy, scattered showers through the better part of the day. But again, there will be some dry times. Thunderstorm chance for tomorrow pretty much includes all of the gem state. The darker green shaded area that you're seeing there is the better potential for severe or strong storms. So really we're just looking for garden variety thunderstorms, just a rumble of thunder, maybe some brief rainfall, possibly some gusty wind, but hopefully not damaging. Again, next few days, rounds of rain keep pumping in. Prepare for it. The backyard, bring the pillows in. The gardens will be very glad for this because this is a lot of water that's on the way through the, throughout the week. We bring in another chance for rainfall even as we move into Friday. So this is just one run of one forecast model giving us an idea of how much rain could be on the way for us. And there is the potential for an inch and a half in some areas through the Treasure Valley and even over two inches as you get into some of the higher elevations like the McCall area. So we're going to be watching for the potential for some runoff, the potential for some isolated flooding spots, because it's not just about the wet weather that's pumping through the area, but also mild enough temperatures to do some damage to snow melt as well. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. Plan accordingly through the next few days. It looks like a lot of indoor activities are going to be needed, at least until Thursday when we see better chance for drier times. And again, moving into the Memorial Day holiday weekend, improving conditions, not just with drier conditions, but also with warming temperatures. You can always find this forecast or interactive radar, which you may find handy this week at ktvb.com. We'll be right back with the Sunday evening news after this break.